I'm gonna show you four foam roller exercises to relieve tight muscles in the lower body. We're gonna focus on our quads, IT bands, lateral hamstrings, and calves. You always want to anchor, so you're coming around to the foam roller, anchor with your hands, lower the front of your quads down, come all the way to your elbows, and then begin rolling forward and back. You can also tilt your knees in and out. We're finding tightness in the quads, and you can do both at once, or you can come over to just one quad. And once you find a tight spot, I want you to hold it there for 30 seconds with some deep breaths. As you can see, this also uses arm strength and a little bit of core strength to balance. Just imagine that muscle releasing. If you've lost the tightness, you can roll slightly to one side or the other. Holding just a little longer. And now we're gonna move from our quad to our IT band. I want you to be careful here because it can be quite painful, but also very effective to loosen the IT band. You're gonna cross your left leg over your right, keep your right arm as an anchor, and then roll up until you find the tightest spot in your IT band. You don't wanna be in so much pain that you're actually clenching your muscle, but once you find that, use your upper body and your other leg to prop yourself up enough so that you can release the tight knot. We're gonna hold it since we've already been holding it a little while, 20 more seconds. Nice deep breaths. It's so easy to keep this muscle tight here. Try to really let it release and relax. Holding just 10 more seconds. You can move it slightly if you need to, but if you can hold it on that same exact spot, continue. Great job. Now you're gonna roll slightly toward the back and we're gonna get the lateral part of the hamstring. Bring both arms back and begin rolling. Again, until you find that tight spot. Take some deep breaths. We're gonna hold this 30 seconds as well. And as you can see, even though we are releasing tight muscles in the lower body, we're actually increasing our strength in the upper body. It's perfectly okay for you to change the position of your upper body so that you don't get too exhausted. But do remember that this is beneficial to strengthen. We're gonna hold 10 more seconds. Nice deep breaths. Great job. To get the calf, we're gonna need even more upper body strength. So you may or may not be ready for this, but let's give it a shot. Let's start with both legs. You're gonna walk yourself back until the foam roller is right underneath your quads, your calves. And then find a tight spot there on your calves. Go ahead and hold it here. If it's too much for you to hold your upper body, you can lower down, but you're not gonna feel it as much. To feel it a little more, you can cross your legs over, but if you can, hold yourself up. This is the most intense position here. We're gonna hold 10 more seconds. Great job, go ahead and roll back. Sit up. Congratulations, you've just completed four exercises to relieve tightness and soreness in the lower body.